Hello everyone and welcome to a tiny bit of this project review. I'm going to share with you the project that I made uh, using Paper Phenomenon's Photo Bomb digital paper and one of her project videos I used to actually put the to learn how to put this book together. So what it is, it's a cross between a photo album and a journal and areas inside to store all kinds of mementos. So first I'd like to take a look at the cover and it says a beautiful story deserves to be told. There is the spine and the back. So the project measurements are, let's see, um, nine by 11 by uh, two inches. Okay. All right. I started out with a dangle hanging from this little knob. So this is my closure, just like that. And you open it just like that. Super simple. So this comes in four parts. So we're going to talk about each part separately. I'm going to move this over to the side so you can see it when I open to the section. This is section one. We have lots of embellishments. You'll find throughout the book, I have placed these little uh, photo mats. You can use them as mats or you don't have to use these at all. You can put your photos just right in here without a mat. So I'm just going to show you that there is a tuck spot right underneath these two things that you can tuck a photo. Or if you wanna put a couple photos, it's your choice. This little uh, wheel gets tucked into this pocket and that's the closure to keep everything in. So we're just going to pull that up to open the folio. Now this folio has a flap at the top that can house a photo. You can also journal on here if you like using a white pen. The next session, section is, is this little flap, and this does open, but let's look at the front part. This is the pouch that the closure sat in, but you can still put other things in here if you'd like. Here I have two acetate pockets. In these pockets, you can place whatever little goodies you want to put in here that you want to be able to see, okay? So I had placed these little photo mats that you can cut photos to photos to photos <laughs> to size to put into your album. The flap folds down where you will notice a secret hidden uh, pocket. So if I take this card out, you don't see the pocket, but it's right here. So you just lift up this little camera, slide your pictures in, and there's your pocket. And throughout the album, you will notice these little cards. You can place a photo here or use it for journaling, as well as putting a photo here. This is big enough for a four by six photo. And again, you can also add other things to your pocket. So now I'm going to bring this down to the center. You could flip up that end to the back. Here is the inside of this section of the folio. And this just opens by taking your fingers right here and separating the two. If you don't want to stick it back in that way, it's between this paper and the black paper. You can just leave it on top like that, but then it you know, it's really not going to go anywhere. Nothing's really going to fall out. But this is how I created it, was to hold everything in like this. So take your fingers like this and open it like here. 
room for more journaling. Now inside is a removable um, folio. Okay, so this is a file folio. I'm going to sit this aside for just a moment. Here again, you will see a couple placement cards that are just temporarily put in here. You can use this section for adding other photos, or you can also add a bunch of your own mementos in here and then close them all in because there's plenty of room to stack things in here. So let's go to the first folio. This is closed by again, another matting where you can put a photo or writing and then a photo on the back. There's another placement card temporarily, of course. And then this flips up and in here you will see another clear acetate pocket. This one's a pretty big one and this can house a bunch of things. So if you want something to show, you can put it right into that pocket. I've added this little file folder to where you can add things into the folder or you can also attach some photos inside the folder. So I'm just giving you some ideas. So then we're going to bring this back down, put our temporary matting here, put this here and that closes that. Again, we're going to flip these up like that. I'm going to bring back my cover, bring this up. This comes back down and tucks into the pocket. And that is it for section number one. Let's move on to section number two. So I'm just going to scoot the whole folio over and I'm going to flip it this way. This is a very interactive uh, album and it's meant to be that way. So it gives a lot of creative or creativity into your um, photo placements of all of all of your special occasions that you might want to put into this folio. So the second one again is attached in a different way. And this is just a little elastic that I put on here and I just wind it around that comes up and this comes down. Also room for a photo here and up here. This is another removable folio that we will set aside to reveal the inside of the center section. This is a magnetic closure right here and you can just lift that up. Room for a photo here or you can leave it blank or add your own decorative touches to it. Flip this over and then you have another big area for some photos. And then inside is one of my favorite things to create and this is called a waterfall. So the waterfall, if you look at it just here, it just looks like a, a photo or a map. This looks like a map in this one. If you flip these up, there is room for photos. So you could put a photo at the top and you could put a photo at the bottom. So I'm just fill this up with lots of memories. Okay. Then this closes here and that will magnetic down to keep everything safe. Now we're going to bring back in the second folio. This folio is closed by a belly band and a pocket. So this tag comes out like this. And this is a nice large tag. Life is just, oh, sorry. Life is like a camera. Just focus on what is important and capture the good times. Develop from the negativities. And if things don't work out, just take another shot. And again, room for a couple small photos or a nice big one, a five by seven will fit on this one. Here's another temporary uh, placement card. This is just, comes up and then you put your own photo here. Flip up and the top section you can add some photos to here, this decorative paper. This flips down. You can do some journaling down here. 
I've put some journaling lines here for you to add your own little notes about maybe some place you've gone or some memory you want to remember uh, in the years to come. These flip open and you have more journaling spots. Here's just a loose tag that you can add photos to, you can journal on, jot notes, whatever you want. And again, the center section can be made to add other things too, if you prefer. There's other things that you want to keep. Okay, that just closes up. This comes up. This comes down. And then to close it, you're gonna go through this belly band into this pocket and then it's closed, okay? And then to keep this folio inside, you just want to twist the elastic back around. Now, if you would prefer to swap out this one for the one that's over here, you can do that because they're interchangeable. They fit in both. You can even put two of them in one if you want to add other things to the center section or the top one. Put the two folios in one section. Okay, so that is the second section. Let's move on to the third. So I'm just going to scoot this over. This is the third section. This is a pocket, a nice huge pocket with a magnetic closure. It just opens like that. You can add some things to here, some photos or memories. And then instead of a folio, I made a booklet. So this booklet contains several different pages for a lot of things that you can do. Now you could just take this booklet with you if you're traveling, you want to take it with you to jot down notes, uh, things like that, to add some mementos. And then when you come back, stick it right into your pocket. So let's look at this booklet. I'm going to flip to the first page and I have some just decorative little notes here. But what you want to see here is a pocket and in this pocket is some rice paper that you can uh, journal on. You can also add other things to this pocket other than this one journaling page. Here I have another removable tag which you can add other photos. If you need this room and you want to cover up the photo you can do that as well. This uh, saying you can add smaller photos. In fact, let me pull those out for just one second. Should have kept them out. I'm sorry if I'm shaking you. Okay, so if you wanted to add, like just say you don't want this size photo, which is a four by six, you can add some little ones if you'd like. Right? Like that. You can add a five by seven long ways here. You can get very creative with the page. I gave you some inspiration. And then turn to the second page and again, another journal page, pocket. Here you can add photos. And inside this flap, is a large tag and in this tag you can of course add five by seven photos four by sixes four by fours these here little wallets whatever size photos you have or you can journal on or you can just add things some paperwork right into the file folder like that and then it would store nicely right in there next page is plain to add your own Memories, again, another removable tag that you can put whatever, and again, whatever sizes you want. It's a little bit smaller, but you get the, you get the point, right? Then we open up one more, and again, another journal page behind here with another removable tag that you can put your own photos on. So that is the booklet, and that just gets right back in there. Even room for more if you don't fill your um, booklet up. 
So now the fourth section is on the back. So let's go back this way. And that is this section here. Again, spots where you could put your own photos. Uh, four by six will fit right here. And this is just a little tuck spot that you can add whatever you want. But I just added a journaling card for you. And on this journaling card, you can add photos. Okay. This flips open like this. And let me bring this over here. And in this section, you will see another pocket right here and another file a uh, file folder where you can place some photos these are removable so you can add something else if you like or journal on them this is big enough to put other papers in here if you want just like that or you can fold the file folder the way i had it like this this has another little belly band and enough for you to stick whatever you want you can even stick several photos in here if you'd like to. Again, another pocket back here that has another journaling card for journaling, a photo, and more photos, or just journaling. Find as you get older, you tend to want to remember places you've been, people you've seen, and things like that. So. These books are great. They're not just a regular album. They're pretty interactive. They're decorative. They're pretty. It adds a nice touch to your memories. But the most important thing that will be in this book will be your memories. Another couple photo mats. And again, you could put your own size photos in here. Or you can do long photos, a short photo. And it already has decorative background for you. Okay, so if you flip this open in this way, again, here's another section you can add more photos to. This center section comes down, but before we do that, there's another tag. Okay, bring this down, and we have another placement card for more photos and then this section here is just a big pocket with another big tag for you to do whatever you want on don't be afraid to stuff these with plane tickets um movie tickets any little mementos you get from different places you've been traveling to Closes like that. Oops. And this closes like this. Okay. Alright, so that is your photo journal folio. Comes back into here. Let's put these frames back in here. comes down like this and this closes like here and the elastic gets pulled over the little knob again and there you have the reveal thank you for watching